Feel free just to click away, eh? Hey? Photos, mate.
Andrea, they're up at the front. Andrea, they're up at the front. Are you just the uh, official photographer? Also connected up the power point to this directly. Oh, you clever! Have you done that? I've run a an Ethernet cable around the edge, and it's got HDMI converters at each end. But with oh, so it goes right around the edge. Does that lead there? Yeah, that uh, that actually is it because it's the, the it's not streaming at the moment. But the, so it's, it's using an Ethernet cable differently to the internet. It's oh right. It's using it as a video but normally cable. that's your HDMI. That's yeah, your... another one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So Fan. that's, so you can see there, there's the... That's the... That's the car, please. Oh. It's just, it's just sitting at the back of the car.
do. We're going to just have some time catching up around the tables and enjoying good food. Um, then in about half an hour, we're going to um, have some time um, finding out about all these beautiful dresses, and we've got some dresses that are going to be modelled. Um, so in between the modelling, I'm going to be telling you about the dresses that are hanging up and all of that. So there's lots of, of fun ahead. Um, so for now, let's um, take a moment to say grace, and then we can have enjoy our beautiful high tea. Loving God, thank you that we can celebrate in so many different ways. It is an amazing thing to be part of the centenary, a hundred years of Pahimarama Presbyterian Church, and it is an opportunity to celebrate, to celebrate that you are a God of love, and what better way to celebrate through wedding dresses as well. So bless this food, bless this gathering, and may it be a time of blessing that we then can take beyond this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well.
Well, thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
any food, you can continue to eat um, as we do the next bit. Don't stop eating, there's plenty of food still on the table, so keep going. Um, we are going, yeah, I might need to introduce myself because there's some faces that are new to me. Um, my name's Nikki Watkin and I'm the minister here at Kapiwarama Presbyterian Church um, and have been since 1999, so a long time now. Um, but it's fun going back way, way further um, in the history of the church, and it's so good um, for all the memories to be coming out, um, you know, long before me. So that's that's really exciting. And so now we're going to enjoy some of the wedding dresses of the various people in our parish and um, from around about. And so I hope you just enjoy the range of dresses um, through the different eras that you can spot. It's pretty cool. Um, we're going to start with the one who's going to make us all feel really bad because she's fitting into her own dress. <laughs> and, and her own husband has got to walk her down the aisle. So, <laughs> watch this space. Come on through Des and Cheryl Moss. Thank you. 
um, in their backyard. They had a beautiful wedding there. This one is Rachel Voss's one. She's been married mm, a few years now because she's got two children um, and she's living in Tadeen. But she got married up here in Auckland as well. So that's that one. And this one is Helen's mum's wedding dress. And she, um, find the right one. Here we go. Margaret Veach married Keith Phillip on the 11th of April in 1959 at Knox Church in Dunedin. She had been the matron of Queen Mary Maternity Hospital in Dunedin. And so Margaret and Keith had an appearance of Helen. Yeah. So that's that one. And this one has... <coughs> Mum, do you want to come and... Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. yeah, can you just come and grab... This one um, has um, a, um, a skirt behind, so a, on the seat behind them. She was a princess in the hoop skirt underneath. How cute is that? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, eh? Alrighty. It's actually quite easy. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine once the dress is on top of it as well. Alright, we're going to come through to this one. This is a much more modern one. <laughs> and I'm going to explain it. This is Catherine Harry's one. And it, um, this is what she wore later in the evening. When she was getting married, it had another portion underneath it. So she, when she actually was getting married, she had this longer skirt, that, and then she was able to undo it and part of the night away. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> Pretty cool, mate. Right? And what year were you married, Catherine? Uh, 2007. 2007. Here we go. Two days. All right, the next one... Is Maureen Hato's daughter Susan's one. So she married Brian Colcini back in 6th of August um, 1993. And um, they were married by Dennis Gordon here at KBC. So that's that's pretty cute, isn't it? It's quite a different look. Yeah. Was that, had that come down? Can you pop that one back up? That? Oh no, you can't. Oh, it's fallen down. This one is Jane's. Is that right? Yes. So this is Jane Dodds. Well, let's turn it around this way. It's a beautiful silk dress. Oh yes, you do. Alright. So yeah, look at it all. Beautiful. When were you married, Jane? 1991. So where did you get married? Chilarani Presbyterian Church, there you go. That's so cute. So she married Andrew Dobb. There we go. <laughs> so that's James. Alright, now we come to this pretty one here. Now this is Maureen Cato's. And um, there's lots of stories behind this one. Maureen obviously married Brian Cato. And it was made by Jean Tom, who was her bridesmaid. And not only that, but she, look at the coat hanger that has the heart hanging from it that Jean made as well. It's so cute. And, and this photo, you can look at later, has the photo with Jean in it. So you can see Jean Tom is the bridesmaid, which is so super cute. So that is, and she made her dress as well. She was the super seamstress. And Maureen tells me this was when the church was a different kind of size and, and fit. And um, when she was deciding where she was going to get married, somebody said to her, you're not going to get married at Kahimana Presbyterian, are you? The aisle is too small. It's not appropriate. <laughs> so it was very narrow, wasn't it? And so your dad had to walk a little bit ahead of you to walk you down the aisle, and Brian had to walk a little bit ahead of you to come back out again, because the aisle was very narrow back then. But she wasn't going to give up on being married here, were you, Maureen? 
<laughs> so yeah, so that one is Maureen. The next one is um, Joyce Hughes. Now I need the right piece of paper, I need to get the right dates. Hang on, there we go. So the interesting thing that I found out when I was getting this filled in was that I didn't know Joyce's maiden name. And Joyce's maiden name is Alif. And if you've been reading over where Richard's pointing, the first home where there was a conversation about starting a church here in Kahimarama was at the Alif's home. It's not that common a name. <laughs> so there we go. So yeah, so Joyce named Elif, married Jeff Hughes back in 23rd of April 1949. So she can't be here today, she's just been going through COVID, um, but at 97 years she's doing pretty well. She was married at St David's Kyber Pass, and it was a very happy marriage. And look at the underneath of it. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? It's lasted so well, hasn't it? Sandra Clarks when she married Brian and um, what year was it? Where is she? I this one. 1970. It's a definitely a 70s dress, isn't it? It's so cute. It's it's got that 70s look about it. Where were you married? In Wellington, Wesley Methodist. And 1970, yeah, cool. Awesome. Okay, and that brings us around here to this one, which I need to get the right information in. Here we go. So this is Lynn Wilson's petite little thing. <laughs> All right, she married, she married David on the 1st of February 1969 at St David's in the Fields, Hillsborough. Um, it was made by her mother with months of beading work done by hand. So do you want to bring the train around, Mum, and show how... This is beautiful. How gorgeous is that? So beautiful. Yeah. And here we get. Yes, oh, here it is. Um, Anna Tilly's beautiful dress. So Anna married Tim, and I just can't get over how beautiful this dress is. Back in. 4th of October 1998 and there's um, the photo down here has got John walking here down the aisle which is just beautiful. So that was him and Graham Drummond married them. There we are. Yeah, so we can fit in the right, right slots of time about the ministers, eh? Alrighty, now I think we're ready for some more dresses. It looks like food stuff is Nikki and Neville Roundtree being modeled by Reuben and Katie. <laughs> they were married in Hawaii. <laughs> I was going to find the right information. Here we go. They were married on the 9th of May in 1981 in the grounds of the Royal Hawaiian Hotel in Waikiki. <laughs> yeah, this is Nikki's dress and Neville's... Oh, Ruben's wearing Neville's oh. Aloha shirt. So this is Neville. That was 
one because we haven't got the dress, but we had the bridesmaid dress. This is Audrey Graydon. Okay, and then number four. Oh, is this these ones here? And you might have spotted the difference. That's Lynn Wilson. There we go. Well done. That's number four. And then number five. Grab this one off my wall. That's my mum. Yeah, and my dad. Yeah, cute, huh? And then number six. If you didn't get that one, you should have by the time we saw the model. That's the Hawaiian Nikki and Neville. <laughs> number six. And then number seven is Maureen and Brian Cato. And then number eight. This is me and Richard. And number nine is Pat Evans and Steve. And number ten, if you didn't get Debbie, you had to have got Craig, surely. <laughs> <laughs> That's Debbie Prosser, yeah. All right. Good job, everybody. Did anyone get them all right? Oh, lots of you. Well done.